everybody, this is Dino with Informobility here in Orlando. Welcome back to another exciting episode, where we bring you the latest tips and tricks for your mobility adventures. Today, we've come out to Lakeland in Central Florida to Bonnet Springs Park, where we're going to discuss the question that's been on everyone's mind. How steep is too steep for ramps for wheelchair and mobility scooters? Some questions and concerns have been raised recently about the steepness of the ramp at Bonnet Springs Boathouse Dock for wheelchair and mobility scooters. Some have wondered whether it's safe or not for elderly and those with disabilities to use. When it comes to accessibility, every inch counts. Whether you're living with a disability, helping someone out with one, or just looking for ways to make your community more inclusive, there are many factors to consider. We found one small unexpected change that can help you out a lot, especially if you're looking to visit or live here in Central Florida. The steepness of Bonnet Springs Boathouse ramp down to the dock is a valid concern, and it's important to consider the safety of all users. Let's take a closer look at the angle of the boathouse ramp and how it affects not only wheelchair and mobility riders, but also the families with children riding skateboards and roller skates down it. First things first, let's define what too steep means. Ah, look out, incoming math! So I guess the point is, is the boathouse ramp is one foot high, it should be at least 12 feet long. And if you add pies and cherries and blueberries and two others, they're round and if they're hot and that's five degrees max, I don't know maths, I've canceled the pop quiz. But the standard also applies to mobility scooters. However, that's not the only factor to consider. In this particular case, we're focusing on the boathouse ramp at Bonnet Springs, but the surface of all ramps should be slip resistant. As we mentioned earlier, there are many different forms of mold and mildew that, if left unchecked, could cause some serious slips for people with enough problems of their own. Most molds can be taken care of with a bleach and water mix. Some use vinegar and water. That's because they believe ramps should smell more like a salad than moldy mushrooms. Also, having flat landings at the top and the bottom, as well as regular intervals for someone to rest is good practice. Can you imagine the mishaps that happened before they had made regulations? Anyways, what we had found out is that the width of most ramps should be at least inches or centimeters or something to accommodate wheelchairs, and there should be handrails on both sides. Well, let's talk about the Bonnet Springs Boathouse ramp specifically. Now, based on our measurements, the ramp is approximately centimeters and feet and inches long, and raises to a height of at least centimeters and inches, I think. Uh, using the secret slope formula, the ideal length for a ramp would be approximately, uh, how long? yeah, and so, so is the ramp too steep here? Probably. But we went down with our trusty inclinometer to measure it just for you. Our team also tried using the ramp with a wheelchair. We found that it was relatively easy to access the boathouse dock going down, but that the push back up was quite a workout, even with a helper. There are no issues with safety, and we felt secure throughout the entire process because of the flat landings. Additionally, the handrails seem to have been made so that if someone that is traveling too fast down the ramp or has lost control, couldn't accidentally roll off the end of the ramp. However, we can understand that some users may still be uncomfortable with the steepness of the ramp. If you have any doubts or concerns, we recommend speaking to the staff of Bonnet Springs Park before using the ramp at the boathouse. You can check out our other videos where we measured the ramp up to the treehouse. You'll never guess what extreme angles our inclinometer measured there. We understand that Bonnet Springs Boathouse ramp has been constructed with good intentions. It's important to recognize the impact it has on those with mobility challenges. As an inclusive society, we must prioritize accessibility in all areas, including recreational facilities. In conclusion, the results show that the ramp has an angle of 5 degrees, which is within the allowable limit. The Bonnet Springs Boathouse ramp is not too steep for wheelchair or mobility users. We're glad that the ramp has been constructed to meet ADA guidelines at a five degree max. 
which helps ensure the safety and comfort of all visitors. Remember, small changes have made a big impact. So let's continue to work towards making our communities more accessible for everyone. It's a reminder that technology can make a huge difference in people's lives, allowing anyone to achieve greatness despite any limitations they may have. Be sure to let us know if there are any exciting places you would like us to visit next. You can check out our other videos, and if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll never miss out on any of our latest adventures. I'm Dino, here in Orlando, Florida with InfoMobility, information for your mobility adventures. Thanks for watching, and be sure to join us next time as we head out to answer your rolling questions.